What is up guys, welcome back for another live in the OU tier in Gen 7. Today we are going to be using a team that I really did not want to use, but I built this team and I realized something. In this meta, the way it is right now, it's either you're using Age of Slash, or you're not using Age of Slash, and you're running an entire team to beat everything in the meta, and you just can't do that. So, this is why Age of Slash was banned initially, it's because it's way too over-centralizing, and I'm st thinking that people are starting to notice that, I hope so at least. Uh, and, uh, this is probably gonna be my second to last live, the other one that's coming out a little bit later today is gonna be with Ethan, and, uh, you guys are probably gonna enjoy that one, it's a really cool team. But, I don't want to continue to play this meta if I'm forced to use the same Pokemon over and over again to win. Uh, that's just the way I am. It's as if in Gen 6, let's say, you always had to run Keldeo. I wouldn't be able to record lives like that because that's just too ridiculous. Uh, basically, Age of Slash is just too damn good right now, uh, especially paired with Toxapex and something like Rotom, Spadef Rotom. Uh, we have Choice Scarfed, Dugtrio on this team, Mega Alakazam, which in my opinion is the best released Mega right now, uh, just because its speed uh, is always 438. Uh, even before Mega Evolution. Um, well, I mean, you have to Mega Evolve on that turn, but the turn you Mega Evolve, you're always 438, meaning that you're outspeeding non-Jolly Feramosa, you're outspeeding pretty much everything, like, other than, say, Genesect. But, uh, yeah, we have that. We have Volt Switch plus U-Turn Tapu Koko. Uh, now, a lot of people saw this one, they saw its stats, and they were really underwhelmed. Tapu Koko's Thunderbolt is one of the strongest in the game right now because of electric terrain uh it hits harder than raikus it hit, it's harder than uh jolteons uh even i think it's it, it hits even harder than potentially zerka trees i could be wrong about that but i think because of the of the electric terrain it does hit a little bit harder than that so tapu coco is crazy it's so good uh i can't wait for it uh, the meta to establish itself so people can see just how good this thing is but um i've been dying to use it in a live i don't know if i've used it yet i can't remember at this point but we're going to be using it today so let's just hop into uh, a battle as soon as we can i just want to see uh hold on a second where did my well, there it is okay <laughs> we're two and a half minutes deep okay uh so let's see how many people are actually playing right now should be quite a bit this ladder is always insane like a lot a lot of people are playing it okay so we have a team with all gen 6 and below mons nothing in gen 7 so that's quite nice um duck trio doesn't really do anything here uh, other than potentially trap the magna zone so we're gonna have to uh, see what opportunities we have there to potentially uh double switch into it we do have the volt turning core of rotom and tapu coco the reason i went with spadef rotom guys is because i needed something to take on landorus eye and this is what i mean about things having to go back up like landorus incarnate Feramosa needs to be banned uh in my opinion definitely because it's it's way too centralizing you need to check on your team to it that's why i have toxapex or you're just gonna lose um like things like that genesect uh greninja i think can stay um anyway we won't go too in depth on it my opponent already started the timer so i think i'm just gonna lead off here with uh rotom it has a pretty good lead matchup as my opponent decides to lead off with scissor as you can see i get a free burn off here um U-turn is actually going to do quite a bit because we're not physically defensive if he decides to go for that. And especially if he's choice banded, uh, which he could be. But he's just going to go out into Suicune. Good play. Uh, we are going to burn this thing. It's not going to do too much thanks to new burn mechanics. And I just spilled water all over my desk. Be right back, guys. Whew. All right. Uh, Aster the Klutz is back. Uh, <laughs> guys, I got it all over my DS, all over my desk it cleaned the glass though that was quite nice uh but yeah so we're just gonna go for a, uh, a volt switch here uh into tapu coco this thing threatens pretty much everything except for uh gliscor he's gonna go for scald it's gonna do a good amount actually uh but i think we're just gonna go for a u-turn here because uh, i expect gliscor to come in and uh i don't really have much for gliscor other than rotom so we're just gonna continue the volt turning uh, as Magnazone's actually gonna come in, which is amazing, because that means I can go into Dugtrio, trap this, and it is gone from the game. Awesome. So we don't have to deal with this thing anymore. I'm still drinking out of the water bottle, it did completely empty. Luckily, things are still wet, I'm still wiping things up. Yo, my DS got wet, I really hope it's okay. <laughs> this is really bad. But, uh... Okay, Slacking is gonna come in. 
Slacking's fine. I'll just go into Age of Slash. He's actually going to go for Pursuit. Great play. Uh, and now he basically um, allows me to set up a sub with Age of Slash. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's go for Substitute as his Gliscor is going to come in, which is perfectly fine. Uh, he's not Toxic Heal, it doesn't seem. So we're actually going to go for a Toxic right here. He's going to go for an Earthquake, which is fine. We're going to find out if he actually is or not Toxic Heal right here. Uh, he does seem to be Toxic Heal, so we just gave it to him. Uh, I'm going to go for King Shield. It's fine. I, I don't really care. Uh, he is going to go for Earthquake. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we're okay with that. And we are just going to switch out into Rotom right here. I don't know. Maybe he's Choice Banded or something like that. No, he goes for Stealth Rocks. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit of an issue uh, because I did need Tapu Koko alive to be able to deal with his team. But uh, I'm just going to go for the Hydro Pump right here. I don't have a reason not to. He's going to go for a U-turn. Uh, anything that comes in is going to take a pretty big hit, uh, including Suicune because if I go for a... Okay, never mind. Um, we're just going to go for a Volt Switch here. I don't really have a choice. And if he stays in, then what I might do is... I mean, Rotom destroys him. Like, Rotom alone destroys him. He stays in, so what I'm actually going to do, guys, is I'm going to go out into Alakazam here. Because I don't expect him to Scald. Uh, okay, I guess he just wants to go for Scald. He gets the burn, not a big deal, because we are a Magic Guard, of course, right now, anyway. Uh, and I'm just going to go for a... I think I'm just going to go for a Focus Blast without Mega Evolving, so I don't take the extra burn damage for no reason. So let's do that. We do connect, and we are able to take out Suicune, which is great. As uh, I kind of expect um, Weavile to come in here. As uh, Scizor is actually going to come in. Okay, that's fine. I have a uh, Rocky Helmet Toxapex over here, so I'm going to deal some damage to this thing. He's going to Mega Evolve. He's going to go for the U-turn, so that tells us, of course, that he's not banded, which is very nice. And Slacking is going to come in, but I'm just going to go straight out into Age of Slash, so... If he wants to go for a normal move, that's perfectly fine. As he is going to actually go for Earthquake. So, wow, this slacking is actually putting in a ton of work right now. Um, I think I have to go into Rotom here. I should have gone into Rotom initially, but... Now that I know this thing's set a little bit, we should be good to go. Uh, I'm actually just going to go for the Hydro Pump here, expecting the Gliscor to want to come out, as it does. As we miss another Hydro, great. Alright, um, I mean... I'm just going to go for another one here, I think. He might just stay in. I don't know what he would do, but I don't know, man. Like, okay, yeah, he roosts. Good. As we are able to get off a huge Hydro Pump, do a ton of damage to this thing. And now we're actually going to go for Will-O-Wisp, expecting him to switch out into... Nope, he just stays in and roosts. Okay. So we're going to go for another Hydro here. I don't know if he's trying to stall me out of Hydro Pumps. That seems to be the case. Uh, but it, as we can see, it does do 88%, so that's a great amount of damage. We have scouted his whole set. He cannot touch Rotom, so that's great. Uh, f quite a few of his mons cannot touch Rotom, actually. As we're going to miss another Hydro Pump, so we've missed three this game already. Um, I'm actually just going to click Volt Switch repeatedly until he finally decides to switch, which it doesn't seem like he's going to. So, alright. Well, I mean, if he wants to let his Gliscor go down, that's fine by me. I just need to connect two Hydro Pumps in a row, please. There's the first one. And we actually get a super high roll and knock out his Gliscor immediately. Wow. That was awesome. Slacking's going to come in. Uh, I'm actually just going to switch out into Toxapex, give this thing some Rocky Helmet damage. And uh, let's see what he does. He goes for Double Edge. That is not able to take us out. Amazing. Toxapex, the, bulky th the bulkiest thing in the world. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Recover right here as he switches out into Scizor, which is awesome. And now we will go for a Scald right here. He's going to go for the knockoff to get rid of our Rocky Helmet. That's fine. Hopefully we can get a burn here. Uh, nope. We're just not lucky this game. I'm just going to go for a Recover. He's going to go for a U-Turn. That's absolutely fine. Uh, again, if he wants to go into Slacking, that's cool. How much did we take from that Double Edge? 80? 80.3? Hmm. Okay, let me think about this. He's definitely banded because he wouldn't be doing this much damage without a Choice Band. That's for sure. So, I think I'm just going to attempt to recover. Um, if he's banded, then I can beat him with... Does Tapu Koko even do anything anymore? I mean... Um, no, it doesn't. I'm just going to sack Tapu Koko here. As he's going to go for the double edge right there. Okay, cool. We're going to be taken out by that. Now we go into Rotom, and now we just click Will-O-Wisp and burn something. His last three Pokemon are physical attackers, so we should be fine. 
Uh, if we burn the uh, Scizor, that's awesome. Uh, he is going to go into Scizor. Cool. We are going to burn that thing. And now we're just going to go for the Volt Switch. And if he U-turns into Slacking, then I will go back into Toxapex uh, right here. And I'm thinking of winning with Rotom regardless, so he's just going to go for U-turn. We are at 83%, so we should be able to take a double edge, no problem. And, uh, I mean, he's just taking recoil for going for that move, so that's, that's perfectly fine with me. He already knocked off my item as well, so Weavile basically cannot touch me at this point. And I just need one Toxic Spike up, and then uh, Weavile will go down. It's a little bit stally, but uh, I guess it's working, so... That's what happens when you miss a bunch of hydro pumps <laughs> in a game. You just uh, start playing stally because you have no choice. Got to win, man. Got to win these games. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't think Double Edge can take us out. Uh, I'm pretty sure. If it did 80.3, I mean, it's a roll. I could calc it, honestly. 432 defense. Yeah, let's calc it. Let me just show you guys the calc from here. Um, let's see. Toxapex. Uh, this is max defense, which we are not. We will bring that down. Three, what did we say? 330, 432, okay. 432 versus slacking. Slacking common showdown, which is assault vest. I don't know why, but choice banded. Let's see. Um, choice banded. Double edge. Double edge. He has to be adamant as well. Um, 80.2 is actually max. So he got a max roll uh, on the last double edge. Let's just scroll up and see where that was. Yeah, 80.3. Yeah, that was a, an absolute max roll. So we can go for a recover here. Uh, he's going to do 68 to us. Yep. I calced it. This is what happens when you calc. You just get it right. Uh, we're just going to go for another recover here. If he wants to stay in, that's fine. He's just going to go out into Scizor, which is also fine. I'm just going to go for my Toxic Spike at this point, and uh, we should be fine. As long as we leave this thing above 80%, we're okay. So even if he switches out here, I'm okay. I think I'm just going to go for Scald, actually. He's going to go for Knockoff. That's fine. We're going to get off a little bit of damage, a little bit of chip on this Scizor. And uh, I'm just going to go for another Scald right here because his Knockoff's not doing anything. His U-Turn's not doing anything. And uh, we're going to leave this Scizor super low. And because we have Regenerator, we are free to switch out into Rotom right here. Uh, again, we know that Slacking can't do more than 80% to us, so... He's going to go for Roost. Absolutely fine. We're just going to go for a Hydro Pump this time. Because it does the most damage to the Scizor. And it does 36%. He's going to go for Knock Off, get rid of our Leftovers, which is also fine. Again, like I said before. And we will go for a Volt Switch here. We are faster than the Scizor as well. So we're going to knock it out right here. And now what we're going to do is we are going to force in the Weavile by going into Alakazam. And then we are going to sack off Alakazam. Actually, hold on a second. We get our speed, right? <laughs> so we're actually faster than this Weavile right now because of the new mechanics with, uh, with Mega Evolution. So we are going to go for a Focus Blast and knock it out. There we go. And then Slacking is going to come in, but it's not even going to make it in because he's, my opponent's going to forfeit. So this is the kind of team you need to run, guys, uh, right now in the meta, which is really annoying. Uh, as you can see, Doug Trio puts in work here once Toxapex is weakened prior. Uh, it's good for revenging Hoopa. It's good for killing Majorna. So Doug Trio is just so, so good. Uh, and it, like, look at the Tapu Koko lead. Like, I, I guess he leads Tapu Bulu, so that's not great. Uh, his grassy uh, terrain is actually going to take uh, priority over my electric terrain. We're going to go for a U-turn here. Uh, it's going to do 16%, so not much at all. We will just go out into Aegislash here, as he is going to go for the Horn Leech. That's going to do 19%, so absolutely nothing. And I think we're just free to Shadow Ball here, honestly. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a Shadow Ball. He's going to go for Substitute. That's fine. Uh, we're going to hit him up with the ball. I'm expecting another sub. Expecting him to expect me to King Shield. Uh, so he's actually going to go for a Leech Seed. We're going to do a lot to him with the uh, Shadow Ball right there. And then I am not staying in on this. I'm actually going to go into Toxapex because this thing isn't banded. So it can't do too, too much to me with Horn Leech, as you can see. And it's going to take Rocky Helmet damage every time it does. Plus we have his Grassy Terrain healing us up. So that's always good. Uh, let's go for the Toxic Spikes. He's going to go for Sub. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I can always just go right back out into Aegislash. 
Uh, can I hit him through his sub? Not really. I could actually just stall him out of horn leeches if I wanted to. Uh, one layer of toxic spikes is up. I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that for now because he does have his own toxapex. So I'm just gonna switch out into Age Slash. I expect him to leech seed though. Yep, there it is. And uh, now we are going to double back into to toxapex. If he wants to continue leech seeding, that's fine. Uh, he's actually just gonna go for Nature's Madness, so that's gonna take off half. And uh, I can recover here. He's gonna go for another Nature's Madness, that's fine. Uh, how many of those does he have? 16 okay so he has 16 of every move we have 48 hazes so i'm not concerned at all he's gonna go for a leech seed that's fine we're just gonna go for another recover here uh actually i'm just gonna go for haze again honestly he's gonna go for uh, horn leech that again that's not gonna do too much he's just taking rocky helmet damage for no reason we're at 32 uh even a crit horn leech cannot take us out i don't believe so we're just gonna recover up here and then we're going to gain our regenerator by switching out into Aegislash. He is going to go for another Horn Leech. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we're going to go for the sub right here. No, we're going to go for Shadow Ball. We're going to break his sub. He's going to miss Leech Seed for once, which is awesome. I should have subbed there. That would have been perfect. Uh, but we are going to be able to break it right there. And I'm just going to go for a Toxic now. As he actually switches out into Landorus, which is perfect. Uh, except we don't land Toxic, so it's not perfect. So I think he gets a Brox here for free which is really annoying, uh, but I'm just going to go out into Rotom here, and uh, we're just going to burn something, basically, at this point. I don't have any reason not to. He should just U-turn here, or switch out directly into Toxapex, which is fine as well, uh, and then we're just going to go for a Volt Switch, as he's going to pull another double back into Tapu Bulu, but this is fine now, because I do have Alakazam that can really damage this. Um, or I can go into Tapu Koko, fire off some Dazzling Gleams, that's not bad either. I mean, this thing deals with me so, so well. This is going to be a long, draggy game. I already feel it. Uh, we're going to go into Tapu Koko. We're going to go for the Dazzling Gleam. We're going to see how much it does. It's Zap late, so it's not supposed to do much. But, uh, yeah, it only does 26. He goes for a Horn Leech. That's going to do a good amount to us. Uh, we're, are, did we heal there? I, I didn't even see it. Uh, but I'm going to go for U-Turn now as we are going to head out into Toxapex. Again, it's just playing stall with this thing at this point. He's going to go for Nature's Madness, which is fine. Again, I can just go for Recover. He's going to go for Horn Leech. He's going to hurt himself with the Rocky Helmet, but because uh, actually we're in Electric Terrain, so we're good. Uh, he's not getting anything back from uh, Grassy. So, yeah, I can just, uh, I mean, I could just go for another layer of Toxic Spikes if I want to. There's Landorus. Cool. Just go right back out into Rotom. Uh, it's it's essentially Stall. Like, that's, that's exactly what this is right now. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Volt Switch, actually, expecting his Toxapex. There we go. And this is going to do a very good amount. In fact, I'm going to go out into Doug Trio because this thing doesn't knock me out. And we're going to go for an Earthquake. It's Adamant, and we are able to take out the Toxapex. Beautiful. So that thing is dealt with. And uh, now we just got to get rid of Tapu Bulu, and we should be good to go. So I expect either Landorus or Bulu to come in here. But Bulu just, it, it doesn't deal with my Aegislash plus... Uh, Toxapex combo. Like, it really, really doesn't. Uh, it's slowly wearing them down, but it's not nearly enough. I always go in Age of Slash first, because, um, because he goes for the uh, Horn Leech, and we're able to recover because of his uh, grassy terrain, so I want Age of Slash in while his grassy terrain is up. And now I'm actually going to go for a substitute. As he switches out into Hoopa, so that's not great for us, because he's going to be able to go for the Hyperspace Fury. Uh, and I think I have to let Tapu Koko go down here. I'm not letting him hit me because I know how this mechanic works. <laughs> As he is going to go for Fury. Beautiful. But he lowers his defense in the process, and that means that the Doug Trio can come in and kill this once again. Goodbye, Hoopa. All right, so he's losing his checks to my Mons very, very quickly. <laughs> As Landorus is going to come in this time, uh, I'm just going to go into Rotom again. And, uh, yeah, like, this is just, this is painful to watch. <laughs> like if I was if I was one of my opponent's friends, I would be like, dude, you you are getting you are getting annihilated <laughs> right now. <laughs> I just keep like playing around his team. Uh, again, Toxapex is the play. It, he doesn't gain anything by going for sub. That's the thing. Like it doesn't actually gain him anything at all. So uh, at some point, one one of these days, <laughs> I'm gonna go out into Alakazam, uh, and we're actually going to uh, to hit this thing pretty hard with a psychic but i can't do that until he's out of horn leeches like nature's madness doesn't do anything because it only takes off half and uh i, I yeah i really just have to get him out of horn leeches at this point uh he doesn't have a toxic specs anymore so i'm just gonna go for a, to a toxic spike 
uh, that way when his Tapu Bulu comes back in, it's poisoned. Uh, that's the uh, the idea, so that we can wear this thing down a little bit quicker. I'm just gonna go for Scald. He's gonna go for Leech Seed. That's fine. We're gonna weaken his sub, and uh, we're gonna switch out into Aegis Slash here to get our uh, you know our recovery. He's gonna go for the the uh, Horn Leech. That's fine. We're gonna go for the King Shield actually, in case he wants the Horn Leech again uh, or Nature's Madness. That's fine too. As we are protected, of course. That's very nice. And we're going to switch right back out into Toxapex. Like I said, guys, I really didn't want to record a live with this, but it's just, it's the thing I have to do. I, can, I can't do anything else to, to beat the meta right now. I had to make a team like this. He's going to go for another Leech Seed. Uh, we're still not able to break his sub because Toxapex is very, very weak. And uh, I've said the, the name Toxapex way too many times this live. Uh, he's still going to take the Scald. Wow. All right. I'm going to go for recover here at this point. He does hit the Nature's Madness, so we're going to get a lot of our health back. And uh, he's down to nine of those, six Horn Leeches. Uh, subs don't really matter. You guys do. Like, my, my sub subs matter. <laughs> I'm just going to go into Age of Slash. Like, what, like what, are you, what are you accomplishing by going for Horn Leech? That doesn't do anything. Uh, I'm just gonna run him out of moves, man. Like, like that that's that's what I'm gonna do. He's gonna go for Leech Seed. He's gonna miss, actually, on the turn that I go for Shadow Ball, so that's amazing. His Horn Leech did 11, so it's not gonna do that much. Uh, I'm just gonna go for another Shadow Ball here as he goes for another sub, which is awesome. We're able to break it. He's not gaining as much recovery as you would normally. I'm gonna go for Toxic. He is gonna go for another sub, so very good play on my opponent's part. I'm gonna go for a King's Shield on his Horn Leech, uh, trying to lower his attack. Uh, he's actually going to go for Leech Seed, so once again, good play. But we're healed up to 62, so right back out we go. As he goes for Nature's Madness, he does connect. That doesn't matter, though, because we can just recover. He's going to go for Leech Seed. Uh, it's Rinse Repeat every single time. Every turn. It's just, I just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, and he's going to go for a sub. I don't know why. I guess he doesn't want to waste the rest of his PP. Uh, I'm actually going to go into Alakazam this turn. Uh, because we don't take rock damage. Uh, he's actually going to go for the Nature's Madness on that turn, so good play. Uh, and I'm expecting the Horn Leech. I just want to run him out of Horn Leeches at this point. Uh, and that is what he's going to go for. Beautiful. All right. And then we're going to go for the switch back out into Alakazam. Because I don't expect another Horn Leech. As he's going to go for the Leech Seed. Beautiful. And we're going to go back into Toxapex. Like, like I said, guys, I didn't want to do this. I really didn't want to do this. I expect him to Horn Leech here, so we're going to go for the Scald. This is going to go for the Nature's Madness. Okay, that's fine. And we're going to double out into Aegislash to get our Regenerator. And uh, unless he's clicking... Um, unless he's clicking Leech Seed, like, he's not doing anything to Aegislash. So, uh, what I'm actually going to do here... I don't know, was Rotom faster? Did we actually see that at any point? I don't think we did. Uh, he's almost out of his, like, best attacking move, so we're just going to go back into Toxapex here. As he goes for the Leech Seed again, all right. We're going to go for Recover again. He's going to go for Horn Leech. Of course, that's not going to knock us out. He's going to take extra damage. We're going to go right back out into Aegislash. And he's going to go for another Horn Leech. Awesome. He has one left. And I'm going to force him to use it by going for Shadow Ball. As he goes for Nature's Madness, awesome. And now we're going to break the sub. Cool. And now we are going to... How many Leech Seeds does he have left? Four, okay. He's hit almost all of them. Uh, I think he only missed one. I think I'm just going to go for another Shadow Ball at this point. He's going to go for Horn Leech. He's actually going to knock us out with that one, but that's his last one. So now what happens is uh, I go into uh, Rotom, and we Pain Split because he cannot touch me. So I'm just going to go for Pain Split. He's going to go for Nature's Madness, so he's going to give me all my health back. And now we're going to go for Will-O-Wisp. As he goes for another Nature's Madness, which is fine. We are able to burn the Tapu Bulu. So now our Toxic Spike is basically useless, but uh, I'm just going to uh, Volt Switch out of here. As we are faster, uh, actually, it's a speed tie. Wow. <laughs> okay, 209, exactly 209. I'm just going to go out into Toxapex again as he goes for the Nature's Madness, which is fine. We're just going to recover. He keeps clicking it. He just wants this thing to die at this point, I guess. He's out of usable moves, so that makes sense. Uh, we're just going to Scald. He's just going to keep clicking it. Uh, and we're just going to wear this thing down slowly. Very, very slowly. He's finally going to click Leech Seed. Uh, and we're going to switch out into Rotom here. As he's going to click uh, Leech Seed again. And we're going to be able to Pain Split off this damage a little bit. 
Uh, he's gonna click the seeds again. We Volt Switch as he wastes his last Leech Seed. So now he cannot touch anything. <laughs> so we're gonna go out and back out into Toxapex. Uh, we're gonna double back out into Rotom. And uh, he's gonna go for a Substitute that doesn't do anything. He can't hit me anymore. All he can click is Sub. He's out of every other move. Uh, so I'm actually just gonna spam Will-O-Wisp here. Uh, because I'm just going to be gaining leftovers recovery at this point. So, yeah, he has to switch out. And he goes into Landorus, which is beautiful. We are going to land a Will-O-Wisp on that thing. And we are just going to go for the Pain Split. I expect him to U-turn actually into Tapu Bulu, uh, which is his best play. Yep, there it is. So he's going to take a little bit of health away from me. But I can just keep going for Will-O-Wisp and gaining back my health. So, I mean, he can go for sub all he wants. Uh, it's, he's not gaining any ground. Uh, we do burn the Latias, which is awesome. Now we are going to go out into... Actually, I think I can let this thing go down, can't I? No, 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 I can't. Landorus is still alive. Okay, what do I do against this? Uh, I go into Toxapex, for sure. He might go for a Psychic move. He actually goes for T-Bolt, which is a great play, as uh, Grassy Terrain is going to heal us up um, a little bit. So we might be able to take the next one. It depends. We're at 46.4. So I'm actually going to go out into Dugtrio, expecting him to T-Bolt again. As, let's see, he does T-Bolt again, beautiful. And I don't expect him to click it again, we're just going to go for... Um, do I need this? Yes, I do. Okay, he's losing a little bit to burn every turn. We're going to go back into Tox here. We'll see if he's choice then anyway. He goes for the Ice Beam, beautiful, so he's Bolt Beam. Uh, so we can recover up on this. We have eight recovers left. He does not get a crit, luckily. No para. Beautiful. As uh, we're just going to click recover again. This is going to go for another T-Bolt. We are back up to 65. I expect him to Ice Beam here. Nope. He just keeps clicking T-Bolt. Okay. That's fine. I guess he's going for the crit. We're going to switch out into Doug Trio now. And uh, he's going to go for another T-Bolt. Beautiful. Uh, I just need this healthy enough, and we should be fine. Now, at this point, what I can do... Um, I kind of want to trace Majorna's soul heart so that I can just sweep him with that. All right, so let's go back into Tox here. I need Tox, um, yeah. I need Tox, Dugtrio, and Rotom to win, meaning that I don't really need Alakazam, but I'm still going to keep it. He's going to go for another T-Bolt. That's fine. Uh, he's doing about 45% to us, but we're gaining back 5% every turn. Basically, I just need to get him into range where... Okay, he crit us that turn. That's fine. Uh, I just need to get him into range to where he's going to die to Doug Trio's uh, Stone Edge, basically. And I think this might already be the range, but I'm just going to click Recover one more time. He has Roost. Okay, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, he's down to 16 Thunderbolts, but that's way too many. Uh, What can we let go down here? I can't let Rotom go down because of uh, Landorus. I mean, Landorus doesn't really deal with Toxapex anymore because it's burned. But I'm almost out of recovers. Hmm. I want to go Zam. Like, really badly. Huh. Hold on. This is a tough spot. This is very tough. He played this well. I didn't, I didn't think he would have a roost. Okay, um... Wait a minute, where's Pedef Rotom? We can take that, right? We can take a T-Bolt. Yeah, I'm going to go into Rotom. All right. He's going to go for T-Bolt. It's going to do 23. Uh, we are at 22%. Uh, I'm going to attempt a Pain Split here, as he's going to get a crit on that turn. I'm going to go out into Alakazam now. And I could probably call Mind, uh, seeing as he's Bolt Beam. Yeah, let's go for the Calm Mind. He's going to switch out into Tapu Bulu, which is perfect. We're going to go for the, the Calm Mind right there. He's going to give us Grassy Terrain as well, which is very nice. And uh, I'm going to go for another Calm Mind because I have no reason not to. All he has is Sub. So, yeah. And uh, I think we just keep clicking it, honestly. He's going to go out into Lando now. Is this thing scarfed? Did we see him switch up moves ever? Uh, let's see. Landorus. Uh, there's 32 Landoruses. Landorus uh, switches in. Age Slash goes for Toxic. Uh, Age Slash come back. Landorus used Stealth Rocks. Landorus switched out. 
Uh, next time was... Switched out, he went for EQ. And then I think he switched out immediately. Uh, earthquake. Doug Trio used Earthquake. Uh, Lando came in and you turned out. He might be scarfed. That's kind of what I'm fearing right now. If he is scarfed, he outspeeds me. Actually, no, he doesn't outspeed me in Mega. Does he? He does if he's max speed. Um, if he's not, then he doesn't outspeed me. I could always calc it. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for Psychic. Let's see. Let's see if he's Scarfed. Nope, he's not. Alright, so we get off the Psychic right there. I didn't want to Mega Evolve, but we did. Um, we're gonna go for the Focus Blast here, I think. Does the most. Yeah, let's go for Focus Blast. As we do land it, we get a crit. And that is gonna ensure us the game. So, very uh, stressful end game right there. Our opponent forfeits. Uh, we're 31 minutes deep. This is why I don't want to record like this, guys. Uh, I'm gonna get one more game, just because I always get three games, but like, okay, this is a more reasonable team. I think we can, we don't have to stall things out here. There's no sub-grassy terrain going on. <laughs> well, now I know how to deal with Tapu Bulu. <laughs> just PP stall it. All right, let's lead off with Rotom. Skarmory leads. Uh, we do have Spadef on this, so I'm not scared of going for Volt Switch at all. At all. Like, let's just click it. We bring him down to 35%, so that's actually really good because now he can't go for... Uh, he's not Custap anymore. Uh, he goes for Stealth Rocks. Those are there to stay. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, but we will just go for a U-turn right here, actually. I don't expect him to stay in. I expect Lando to come in. We'll see, though. I mean, if Lando comes in, I can always go into Rotom. So, yeah, let's just go for Volt Switch. Let's knock out this Skarmory. All right. Um... <laughs> I don't want to say this thing's name ever again after today. I'm telling you guys. Um, since we're not Sash Doug Trio, and the only Pokemon that I want to completely keep out right now is Tapu Koko, I'm going to go into Dougie. And we have the Scarfed Aerial Ace for uh, Feramosa as well. So if he goes into that, that's great. He should know that this isn't sashed. Like, he should expect something else. He's gonna go into Feramosa. I'm gonna click Aerial Ace. That's gonna knock it out clean. Beautiful. Alright, so now we don't need Age of Slash as much. <laughs> that's why I that's why I brought this kind of Doug Trio, man. Cause it just it, it's a lure. It's beautiful. Uh Gyarados is gonna come in, that's fine. I have Rotom. Uh actually if he's mega, this could be a problem. This could be a very big problem. I'm gonna go into Tox. Uh, if he has Earthquake, that's fine. We're gonna click Haze. This is the one time that Haze is gonna be useful. He's probably gonna go for EQ right here. As he actually goes for Sub. I think that's even worse, but... Uh, how effective are Toxic Spikes? Not really. Let's just go for Scald. He's gonna go for DD. I'm gonna Haze him again. He's gonna go for Crunch, so he doesn't have... Uh, and we're Rocky Helmet too. He doesn't have Earthquake, so we're pretty much good to go. I'm just gonna recover here. He's gonna switch out into Landorus, that's fine. We have our Rotom that, that can switch in any time to this. <laughs> this team is disgusting, man. I don't even know if I wanna upload this. I spilled water everywhere, like people probably aren't watching anymore. Uh, I can pain split this off. He can go for another Sludge Wave if he wants. He actually goes for Calm Mind, so that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go for Hydro Pump. It should still be able to kill him through the Calm Mind. If he wants to go for Sludge Wave now, that's fine as well. Um, I have Scarf Dougie in the back. He's going to go for Focus Blast, actually. That's going to do a lot. Uh, we're almost able to knock him out. I don't really need Rotom anymore. Toxifex handles the, the Gyarados. Yeah, I don't need this anymore. I'm just clicking. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Um, Alakazam can come in and kill this with a Shadow Ball if it wants to. Um, which is exactly what I'm going to do, actually. Because it's like... It's free, pretty much. If he wants to save this, that's fine. He has Sludge Wave, Calm Mind, Focus Blast, Earth Power anyway. This is the only thing on his team that really deals with Toxapex. So, I mean, Tapu Koko does as well, but like, if, Ta if Tapu Koko clicks Thunderbolt, it, it dies, essentially. <laughs> like, uh, Dugtrio just comes in and knocks it out, so. His Gyarados is also Mega Evolved right now, so that's great. 
I'm not clicking Mega Evolution because I don't want to take Rocks damage coming back in, guys. And the other reason is that, um, what's uh, Gyarados' ability? Mold Breaker? If I can get that, that's just like, that's great. <laughs> no, I don't lose anything. So, I'm assuming the, uh, the Sword and Shield is coming in here. Probably. Um, I don't think Shadow Sneak knocks us out. Hold on. Um, Aegislash. Common Showdown, level 100. Um, Blade Form. Shadow Sneak to Doug Trio. Doug Trio. Uh, Shadow Sneak does. Whoop. Gotta change that. Shadow Sneak does 51 to 60, so yeah, no, it doesn't. Um, so Shadow Ball into. He might think we're Sash now, actually, <laughs> from the way I, I just played that. That'd be funny. Um, if he thinks that we're actually not Mega. Like, why wouldn't I be Mega? Honestly. <laughs> there's there's no reason not to run Mega Alakazam. I guess Sash is cool, but, like, would I really bring Sash if I have an Aerial Ace uh, Scarf Dug Trio? Like, does that make any sense? I can't believe that actually worked. We lured in Feramosa by bringing in Dug Trio. I was thinking it at the back of my head too. I'm like, he's gonna go into Feramosa just to click U-turn. Like everybody does that, and it actually worked. So my opponent's actually gonna go on to uh, Aegislash. I just want a uh, precautionary measure by going into uh, Toxapex first on a potential Shadow Sneak. We'll see what he goes for. He goes for Shadow Ball, so that's fine. Uh, it's gonna do a good amount, and he's actually gonna get a Spit F drop right there. But now what I'm gonna do is go into my own Aegislash, which speed ties this basically and we're gonna keep toxapex because it's again really good for the gyarados uh, as he's going to go for another shadow ball that is almost gonna knock us out he's gonna get another spit f drop but this is i mean it's potentially a speed tie so i'm just gonna go for the shadow ball here uh if he goes into gyarados i'm clicking toxic no matter what because if i land it then he's worn down and toxapex can again come in and just click haze so I don't know if he actually wants to risk this, because if I win a speed tie right here, he loses his Age of Slash, and yeah, okay, he's just gonna go for King of Shield. Smart. Alright, uh, I mean, we can play this game all day. I'm just gonna go for my own here, uh, and he can't hit us through it, so he's gonna switch stances. I'm just getting Leftovers Recovery, and I think I win this in the end. This is another stally, stally portion right here. Eventually, I'm gonna click Substitute. Uh, on the turn that he has to go for the King Shield. So, we'll see. Um, yeah. How much does Doug Trio actually do to this thing with uh, Earthquake? Wow. Really? Okay, no, that's Blade Form. Shield Form takes 44 to 52. Wow, that's not a lot at all. I guess Mega Alakazam can take it out. Alakazam. Mega Alakazam with Shadow Ball. What? Oh, hold on. Uh, 47 to 56. Yeah, so after uh, an earthquake, it can, it can definitely take it out. Uh, I do want to keep Doug Trio in the back, though. So I think I go Zam first, then go Dougie to knock him out with the earthquake. Uh, he's actually going to risk it. Yeah, okay. It's a good thing I thought about that quickly. Um, actually, what I can do is go Tapu Koko first because his own Tapu Koko doesn't want to come in on a Thunderbolt. So... Yeah, let's just click that. He's probably just going to King Shield. I think he sees this as his way to win. When in reality, um, I just have too many answers for it. Still left. Yeah. Yeah, we should be good. I really thought his, uh, his Mega Gyarados would have Earthquake. Like, there's no reason not to run Earthquake. Maybe in this meta, because there are so many, like, just basic flying types, like... Um, Celesteela and Landorus and stuff like that. Uh, well, Waterfall hits Landorus anyway, but I can see your reasoning for not running Earthquake, but at the same time, with all the Levitators, like, plus one Earthquake after two Stealth Rock switches, I'm pretty sure knocks out, uh, Latios. So, is there really a reason to, to not run it, you know? We get the para on the Age of Slash, which is really unfortunate for my opponent. He's actually going to flash cannon us and knock us straight out, which is pretty impressive. Um, yeah, I think I just go Zam here. Yeah, I just go Zam. Um, I go for the Mega Evolution. We click Shadow Ball, and uh, then we win, <laughs> basically. 
Like, he should go for King Shield here. If he gets parried on the turn that he goes for King Shield, though, that, like, that's like, that's terrible for him. He doesn't get parried. Uh, actually, he does. Yeah, he did. So he didn't get to get his King Shield off. And I think that Psychic kills now. So I'm not even going to play around with it. I'm just going to click Psychic. He has no reason to King Shield. He should click... Um... Actually, hold on a second. How much does this thing's Shadow Ball do to me? So at plus one, do I take it? Uh, I'm not messing around with crits. No way. No way. We're just psychicking. Okay, cool. We're able to knock that thing out. We're faster than Tapu Koko. We have Focus Blast for this, so I'm just going to click it. It does miss, unfortunately, uh, and he is going to go for Crunch and knock us out. Um, but, hmm, that's not good. I should have switched. I didn't think he'd attack, if anything. Um, hmm. I really want to double catching the Tapu Koko. Is that really my play? That has to be my play. Yeah, I have to do it. There we go. We catch it. Beautiful. Go for Earthquake. Knock it out. We're going to go for EQ on the uh, Gyarados as well. And then Toxapex wins. Toxapex always wins, man. <laughs> that's that's just the way it works. I'm just going to click EQ. Uh, we're actually faster than plus one Gera. So if he goes for Dragon Dance, it doesn't gain him anything. Because I'm pretty sure we two a KO from here. Because of the increase in... Yeah, whoa. That did more than I expected. And another Earthquake is going to finish it off. So I had to make that play at the end there, guys. Because um, if he switched out into Tapu Koko on any of my attacks from Toxapex, uh, he won the game. Because Gera doesn't get O-Code by Earthquake, as you can see. So he would have knocked out... Well, he would have had to go for an Electric move. He would have had to make some predictions. He didn't have to necessarily on the first turn. But if he, if he ever knocked out Doug Trio before I trapped him, then he won the game. So... That's, uh, that's the way it works sometimes, guys. It's, uh, I, is this the guy that was getting upset with me? Or was it the other one? It was the other one. Uh, this was actually a 27 turn battle, but it lasted a lot longer than it, uh, than it normally would because my, your opponent has to play around so many different things with these three men. It's disgusting. It, and with this, like, these three mostly, but add this and wow. It's just, it's terrible. Anyway, I'm sorry for the really long live, guys. I'm also sorry for, well, I'm more sorry for myself, but I'm, I'm sorry in general for spilling water everywhere and uh, having to pause the video, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in the live later today with Ethan. Peace.